hey guys welcome back so today i'm going to be doing a review on a wig from amazon i am not going to pronounce the name because i'm going to butcher it but i will leave it on the screen and below in the description box so today's review was going to be a simple install and showing you all the wig but i ran into a few complications and before i get started with that this is the wig this comes with three combs one at the bottom Two at the top, adjustable straps. It does have a six inch parting and on the sides, as you can see, it goes down to a two inch parting. And this is going to be their deep body wave in an 18 inch and 150% density. So this is going to be my first time working with this company. I was sent this wig to do a review on. And the kind of complication that I ran with this wig was that I could not fit it. This is supposed to be their medium size, and I don't know if it's just because my braids has grown or what it is, but I cannot fit this wig. As you would be able to tell, if you can already, the sides do not come all the way down. And so I'm going to be showing you all how, um, I guess not really to fix the situation, but how to like wear the wig if you spent your money already. And if you've cut it and then realized that you cannot fit it, or if the seller does not accept returns. And so... Um, I did go ahead and wash this wig. This wig did sit in the corner for about two weeks because I have been so busy with my wig business. And so, yes, I am finally getting around to do this review. And I, um, all I'm doing right here is cutting it. I did not like the color on this lace. Um, this lace did end up being kind of just a little bit dark. You couldn't tell once you cut it. But um, for those of you all who likes to leave a little bit of lace, I just I'm guessing that you will need to tint this lace to your color because I am like a caramel like a dark caramel color and no I can I did not like the color of this lace other than that the hair did um it definitely feels coarse and as you can tell it does look a little bit drying so I did end up using some serum on this hair Usually I don't need to, but for this wig, I did. And those are the only problems that this wig gave me. No shedding, no tangling, no anything. And as you can see right here, I this is the problem that I'm having. It is not coming down. So I am natural for the time being. And I am, well, I did have to um, gel down my edges because they were looking kind of crazy. And so I am giving y'all a little close up because it kind of like I don't have any, but yes, sis, I do. I have some edges. And so next I'm going to be using this Gasta Be Glue. I am normally using the uh, yellow one, but I ran out. I kind of like this one a little bit better, but I do not like the residue that it leaves behind. I never had any type of residue left behind on the yellow one. Um, this one seems to always give me a, a kind of like a little bit of residue and I'm going to be showing you all how to remove that using alcohol. And so here, this is one of the reasons why I did like using the gel. I was going to be using the ghost bond, but because we are putting it like literally on our edges, edges. Um, yeah, like normally I don't have a problem like, <laughs> like putting it on my hair, but because I was going to be putting so much glue on my natural hair, I was like, yes, no, we're gonna be using the gel. And so this is one of the good things that the gel comes in handy. And so I was gonna be doing some baby hairs, but I decided not to. And I know sometimes when I do my wigs, you'll be able to part right there and see nothing with scalp. But being in so, um, I guess I didn't flat iron the middle or a uh, hot comb in the middle, you could not see. And so I'm using just some regular 98% alcohol and a Q-tip and I'm going on the, across the hairline just to make sure that I don't have any residue from the, uh, from the gel. And so um, once you are complete with that, you wanna go ahead and inspect everything and then start combing out your edges. And so this little part on this side, on that right side, gave me hell throughout this whole video. You're going to see, I'm going to keep trying to get that part out because it looks so like plastered down. But I finally get it at the end of the video. And so um, I'm going back across with my makeup just to touch up the spot that I had with the alcohol. And I am now trying to style this and give it a flat appearance, a, a flat appearance at the top and so i did get this hot comb from amazon like always i will leave the link in the description box for that and also for the Kara Kara wax stick and then here i am trying to comb out that residue and so does anybody 
nobody else stop breathing when they get close to their hairline? I know I do. <laughs> I stop breathing because <laughs> I'd be so scared I'm going to end up burning myself, but I always end up burning myself regardless. And so um, I am getting a little bit of flyaways at the top. And so I did go back in with the Care Care Wax Stick to try and um, flatten that out. It did not help. So at the top, there is a little bit of flyaways. And like I said, this wig was kind of drying just a little bit. So I did apply my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. I use this on my hair. I've been using this for years. And it just, it helps your hair grow. It is like the best. This is the only serum that I put on my hair other than castor oil. And so here I'm just putting in a few simple curls, not using any, um, any spray or anything because I like for you all to see what it looks like just without any spray and to see if it holds a curl because if it can hold a curl without a spray, then sis, this is the wig. And so here I'm just giving it a comb through. And I'm trying to give it like a little bang or whatever. And I am loving this hairline. I did forget to mention that once washed, the hairline did thicken up. And so I went in and plucked. As you already know, this is Erica J plucking. Now, y'all know these wigs will be coming plucked like this. I plucked this. But it did come with a good pre-plucked hairline, as you can see at the beginning of the video. So I am loving this body wave. Like I said, I didn't get any shedding. Oh, girl, look at that. You know I have to give y'all close-ups. Close-ups, because we don't do no filters. We don't be sitting all the way in the back. We make sure that we give you realness. If I messed up, y'all know I messed up. We not trying to trick nobody, boo. And so <laughs> that is it. This is how you apply your wig if it does not fit. Don't forget to thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments down below. Don't forget to check out this company. And the link is going to be down in the description box. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, loves.